after a B.Tech degree, a lot of us want to go for a specialization in engineering. With automation and digital transformation taking place, we all want to go for a degree which not only pays well, but also remains in demand in the upcoming years. So how to choose which postgraduate program to go for? Well, let's find out. I am Neha Agrawal, I'm the founder of Eyes Up Communications and in this video I'm going to share with you 5 upcoming fields for your masters in engineering. Most of these fields are not only in demand but also interdisciplinary. So without further delay, let's get started. The first specialization is robotics. As the name suggests, robotic engineering is all about building robots which replicate human actions. As a robotics engineer, your responsibility will be to design, build, test machines and maintain the softwares which control them. These machines which you develop will be used in various industries like aerospace, mining, automotive, manufacturing, etc. With the world moving towards automation in all sectors, the use of industrial robots is constantly on the rise. The shortage, however, is of robotics engineers who can develop these machines and also maintain them. Which is why robotics engineers are being sought after by all big companies nowadays, be it Google, Apple, Amazon, Samsung or even Tesla. Robotics engineering is also a very multidisciplinary field which combines mechanical, electrical and computer science engineering. Some of the best countries to do your masters in robotics engineering would be US, UK and Germany. The best part, the minimum requirement is to have only a bachelor's degree in engineering, irrespective of the branch that you come from. The next specialization I would like to talk about is data science. All of us have heard this buzzword at least once in the past two years. Since the pandemic, a lot of companies have become completely digital, making data science positions one of the most in-demand jobs this year. In fact, Harvard Business Review has called data science as the sexiest job in the 21st century. So what exactly is data science? Data science is the process of collecting, storing, segregating and analyzing data, which is used by companies to make data-driven decision making. Let's take a very simple example. Whenever you go on Amazon or Netflix, you see a recommendation saying things you may like. This is a classic example of data science algorithms tracking our search results, tracking our buying patterns and then giving us customized recommendations. Needless to say, data science positions are now available in almost all companies, be it a small scale startup or a tech giant like Amazon or Google. To pursue your master's in data science, also popularly known as MSDS, you don't need a degree in computer science engineering. However, Universities do say that you should have some basic knowledge of programming and a good stronghold on mathematics and statistical knowledge. Also, almost all countries nowadays have data science jobs, so you can pursue your masters from whichever country you like. The next specialization on my list is that of biomedical engineering. Biomedical engineering is the application of engineering principles to biology and medicine. Now you would think that biomedical engineering is just for biotechnology people, but that's not true. Biomedical engineering is also very multidisciplinary, which combines the fields of mechanical engineering, electrical engineering, chemical engineering, material science, chemistry, mathematics, computer science engineering, all integrated with biology to improve human health. Biomedical engineers help in the design and development of medical implants like pacemakers, 3D printed organs, orthopedic implants, etc. Biomedical engineers also help in developing diagnostic tools, laying down standards for use of medical devices and also conduct cutting edge research to push the boundaries of medical technology. With more pandemics and virus outbreaks predicted for our future, all countries are now realizing the weakness in their healthcare infrastructure. Which is why biomedical engineers are now being employed by government organizations as well as private hospitals and pharmaceutical companies. To pursue your master's in biomedical engineering, the minimum requirement is that of a bachelor's in engineering. However, knowledge of life sciences or biotechnology will definitely be useful. 
Some of the best countries to pursue this program is Netherlands, UK and USA. The next specialization I'm so excited to talk about is business analytics. Business analytics is the intersection of business with data science. Business analysts use the data analysis to influence decision making and strategy within the company. For example, whether the company should launch a new product line or not, or which product marketing should they prioritize over another. All these decisions are backed by data and therefore taken by business analysts. A Master's of Science in Business Analytics, also popularly known as MSBA, is one of the most interesting and in-demand programs right now. It combines your knowledge of data to solve complex business problems for the company. Today, business analysts are hired by some of the top consulting firms like BCG, McKinsey, Deloitte, PwC and therefore they are highly paid as well. All universities offer a program in MSBA and they are highly sought after as well. All you need is a background in engineering with some good mathematical knowledge and basic programming skills. I would personally recommend looking at this program and going for it. The final specialization I would like to talk about is that of engineering management. It is a specialization which deals with the application of engineering principles in a business setting. So instances where engineering managers would be required include firms in construction, manufacturing, automotive, transportation, food, information technology and other technically intensive areas. Engineering managers offer the best of both worlds as they have an understanding of business practices and engineering sciences, something which cannot be fulfilled by an engineer or a manager alone. In fact, a master's in engineering management, also known as MEM, is called as engineer's MBA or MBA for engineers. The best part about this degree is that it helps you climb the corporate ladder and get a managerial position with a technology core, something which would have taken you much longer time to achieve if you only had an engineering degree. Another advantage of this degree is that engineering managers are required by a lot of different industries and therefore hunting for a job becomes easy. For most of the universities, MEM program does not require any formal work experience. So it's a management degree which you can get straight out of college, unlike an MBA program. The best country to pursue this degree is definitely USA. So guys, that's all I wanted to share with you today. A lot of us don't know about these unconventional career options and we end up pursuing our masters in the same field we did our undergrad in. That's not necessary anymore. As you can see, new fields are coming up as the demand of the industry is changing. So keep yourself in pace with the world and you will see yourself at the top of your career in few years down the line. Thank you so much for watching this video and I wish you all the very best for your career ahead.